Hi, I'm Chris Cooper, I'm fine from S3 Style in Birmingham. I have a background in Thai boxing. Over the last two, three years, I've started wrestling, submission fighting, and got myself into MMA. Um, coming off a three win uh, winning streak, and tonight I'm fighting Jan McSweeney for the heavyweight title. We've both got similar backgrounds, both like to stand up, like to bang. If one of us is going to go down, it's definitely not going to be me. Hi guys, I'm James McSweeney. Uh, I fight out of Fight Factory Carbune in Amsterdam, Holland. I'm here to fight Chris Cooper, uh, MMA British title, heavyweight belt. Uh, it's an, uh, it's first of all, I'd like to say thank you to FX3 for inviting me to come to the show. Uh, it's my first debut uh, for FX3 in my hometown where I grew up this area, so it's good to fight in front of my home friends again. here to fight. Uh, I'm a professional fighter, that's what I do for a living. Uh, I don't much about Chris. I know he's had a few fights, but to me it's irrelevant. I'm just here to do what I'm paid to do uh, and knock him out. Whether it's in the first, second or third, wherever the opportunity comes, he's going to get knocked out. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout is for the vacant British FX3 Heavyweight Title! So please welcome in the red corner, weighing in at 109 kilograms. He has a record of three wins with one loss. He changed out of F3 style in England. Please welcome Chris Cooper. So here we go. Penultimate event of the evening. British vacant title. The heavyweight title at that. And we have two fantastic heavyweights coming together tonight. Ian, tell us a little bit about this guy. Chris Cooper, better in the Cage Warriors. Three and one on a free fight win streak. Um, K1, UK K1 striker. Um, been working with Mark Goddard, uh, as well as the guys at F3 style on his grappling. Got a good anti takedown game. Um, Come off a very good performance against the. Um, Norwegian Tommy Robinson in July, where he um, spooled out of his takedowns and just TKO'd him with strikes. Good ground and pound, good on his feet, and um, McSweeney was very confident at the, and in his uh, promo video, but uh, I wouldn't write out uh, Chris Cooper at all. And as you mentioned, training partner Mark Goddard, and also up there, I believe, is Ross Mason. Another veteran of UK MMA. And I believe Cole Vaughan as well. Um, who's a... Um, From every style in England, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chris Cooper! <laughs> and his opponent in the blue corner, weighing in at 102 kilograms. He has a professional record of one win with two losses. He changed out of FFC and Team Titan in England. Please welcome James the Hammer McSweeney. McSweeney played under the K1 circuit. That's right, as well as Cage Rage as well. Um, fought Mustafa Old Turk in his uh, last outing. That's right, secured some fantastic victories in K1. Working his way through the MMA circuit. Been a little bit unfortunate when he has competed in MMA. As you rightly said, recently fought for a British title. Came away a little bit unfortunate, but tonight he's here to redeem himself. Yeah. And redemption could be on the cards for this man here, Mr. James McSweeney. And a much better matchup with McSweeney as well against an another striker. Well, quite often when you see two guys, as we did earlier with the two boxers, when you see two guys come together from a striking background, it generally means it'll go to ground, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. I mean, sometimes the um, the best laid plans go to waste. Um, well, I see. I mean, they may well, you know, trade some leather. 
Rock Sweeney looks very, very psyched for this fight. Very confident. Got a lot of fans here as well. Crowding around us here at Cakeside. Right, big following for James McSweeney. Seems to have added some artwork since the last time I saw him. <laughs> really focused. Very focused. Like you said, um, he must feel he has something to prove. And literally, people are crowding around us right now. On their, on their, on their feet for McSweeney. Right, a big fan base has James McSweeney. Mickey Pappas at the time. Ladies and gentlemen, from FFC Anti Titan, please welcome James the Hammer McSweeney! Both guys have a good corner. Some boisterous support just behind us right now from McSweeney. <laughs> Cooper very calm, very calm. Look at that stare down, yeah. wow. That's not a stare down I'd like to be near. Both men dwarfing quite warming. Well, and some mind games going on here right now. <coughs> so here we go, the bell tolls. And it's a vacant heavyweight title. McSweeney and Cooper tie up. Going Fast at it movement quickly. at the moment. Both guys moving quickly. McSweeney trying to fire shots on the inside. Cooper trying to fire shots on the inside. McSweeney shoots looking for the double leg. Cooper does a great, great job of using the underhook to basically defend. Wow. Yeah. As I was saying, Cooper does have some good anti um, takedown defense. I felt like that was the start of a horse race more than a fight. Both guys again, clashing fists, clashing hands. Exciting action for the crowd at the moment. And Sweeney takes a big shot and then fires in two uppercuts inside. Cooper and McSweeney jostling for position. Cooper now looking for the takedown. McSweeney lands a knee. A little bit of blood trickles from the nose of McSweeney as Cooper sprawls in top position. Both men back to their feet. Cooper will be disappointed he gave up that position there. Shocking start to this fight. Both men, both men well matched up here as Cooper's trying to push on McSweeney by the cage, trying to land some knees. McSweeney goes for a leg trip, but it was stopped there by Cooper. Now McSweeney's trying to push Cooper against the cage. Drops down for a shoot, would you believe? Good sprawling work in a minute by Cooper. And as I say, yeah, McSweeney wins here. gets the takedown into his own corner as well. Cooper quick back to his feet, wins a takedown of his own, McSweeney reverses it, but Cooper drives forward, stays on top position, moves into half guard of McSweeney, McSweeney just letting him slide through to side mount position. McSweeney puts his arm through, dangerous game to play. And again he gets up. Both guys finding their way back to their feet. McSweeney does a good job of avoiding any knee contact. Both guys breathing heavily. Both guys have gone far too quickly. McSweeney again throws a knee to the midriff of Cooper. Cooper doing a fantastic job. McSweeney dropping his head a little bit too low there, I think, for the takedown. And as I say, there he takes it down, but it almost looked like Cooper was going to try to go to get a team. Cooper looks tired. And you can hear McSweeney's corner calling, take your time, slow it down. It's all a bit too fast at the moment. Cooper just trying to stand up. McSweeney looking to bring his man back down. McSweeney receiving lots of encouragement all around the cage. As Cooper charges in, tries to get the takedown. Keeps trying to work. McSweeney does a good job of forcing himself to top position. Cooper lays almost flat. McSweeney flattens him out well. Big shots from McSweeney. Cooper looks to tap this over. McSweeney, James McSweeney is crowned. 
the new FX3 heavyweight champion. And wow, what a way to do it. Great, Two heavy great blows. victory for James McSweeney. As you said, Cooper looked hurt. He seemed phased. McSweeney finished it off beautifully. Some great work, some great shots. Sees that man there, put the belt around his waist. Yeah, McSweeney got the position. Landed two strikes. And it's a, a popular decision. The crowd loving the result. So a new champion is crowned once again. Mr. James McSweeney takes the vacant heavyweight title and proudly will wear it on his waist. Ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes, nine seconds of the first round, we have a winner due to referee stoppage from ground and pound and your new British FX3 heavyweight champion, James the Hammer McSweeney! And the world of belt, Jeremy, Bad Boy, Bailey. So ladies and gentlemen, please, please raise the roof for our runner-up, Chris Cooper.